You guys know the drill by now. I saw this TikTok where a guy was analyzing which letter of the alphabet would make for the best home floor plan. We are on part 13 with the letter M. We are back on our alphabet lot, and as you can see, I did have to remove the first few letters of the alphabet. I moved them onto a different lot so I could make room for the remaining letters of the alphabet. Now you will see some blank spaces because I am having slight difficulties figuring out how to do the letter Q s and w they just I, I don't really know i'm gonna have to be a little creative with those ones so let me know if you guys have any suggestions on how to do those letters that'd be greatly appreciated but today we are doing the letter m as per usual i received a ton of great suggestions on what theme i should do for the letter m but one that i was really drawn to was half minimalism half maximalism basically the letter m is so beautifully symmetrical that we could just split it down the middle and have two opposite homes where one is for a minimal and one is for a maximalist. And not to mention, we do have the decor to the max kit, which would work perfectly for the maximalist side. And before we get started, don't forget to comment your suggestions down below on what theme we should do next week for the letter N. And with that being said, let's get started on our M-shaped minimalist maximalist opposite homes. I want to thank Dev Sisters and Brick City for sponsoring today's video. I know you guys like building, so you guys are gonna love this game. Brick City is Dev Sisters' newest sandbox city building mobile game, and it brings all of the calm and relaxing vibes. Step into the year 2523 where your mission is to build a city that will revive the abandoned and polluted earth by using bricks building blocks filled with purifying energy. You can build your own world with bricks blocks, whether you make your own blueprint or choose blueprints made by others, you'll be able to construct a beautiful city of landmarks, shops, parks, and anything in between. Everything is customizable with over 7,000 different bricks blocks available at launch and you can even explore other players' cities to unlock exclusive building blueprints and residents. Pre-registration and early access application is now open for Brick City. There will be a ton of in-game rewards for pre-registering and early access users will have the opportunity to win a $1,500 gift card through a build challenge. Sign up and learn more by clicking the link in the description or scanning the QR code on screen. Okay, so the letter M actually does have quite a big floor plan to work with, but it's the fact that we have to fit two homes into the letter M that's causing some difficulties. So I, I had to make some decisions. Okay, I had to make some hard decisions, cut me some slack. I don't want to be the one making big decisions around here, but I have to, and this is what I came up with. Also, I am making the floor plan on both sides the exact same, just so you can have the most fair and clear comparison between the two decor styles. At the bottom here, we're going to have our bedroom space, which leads into the open concept kitchen, dining, and living space. Now, I'll admit this is where my floor planning skills get a little shady, but here in this triangular tiny room, this is where we're going to have our bathroom. Now, I hear you. I'm not happy about this either, but like I said, I had to make some hard decisions here. I'm just trying to maximize profits. And by that, I mean maximize the efficiency of the floor plan space, which I think this is the most optimal, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Let's just trust the process. I can't wait to get started. Let's start with the minimalist side first, and I want to do the bedroom. For floor I want to go with something super simple. So let's go with this base game one. This is actually a new swatch that just came out with the update that came right before the Horse Ranch expansion pack. So we got a ton of new like wood swatches with some of the base game stuff like the doors and some of these floors and I think even some of the wallpapers as well. And for walls, I'm very tempted to just go with this classic white paint as an all over base. Now we obviously need some natural light, so why don't we go with these plain eco lifestyle ones. Now for bed, I'm thinking of going in with this plain one from Dream Home Decorator. Now minimalism doesn't necessarily mean zero color whatsoever, it just means we have to tone down the clutter a little bit. So I think I might go for this light pink swatch on the bed. And let's grab the matching Dream Home Decorator end table in this pink swatch. This modern table lamp from the Tiny Living Pack is probably one of the most minimalistic lamps to exist, so we have to use this one. And we'll finish it off with one singular plant on the end table, and that's all we're putting. For artwork, I really love these ones that come with the new Book Nook kit. I just like how simple they look, so I'm just gonna place it right there as if it's leaning up against the table. And for rug, should we also go for this one from the Book Nook kit? Like, is the Book Nook kit having its moment right now or what? 
that actually looks really pretty. I'm kind of down. For clothing storage, nothing to me screams minimalist more than having just a plain clothing rack with all of your clothes. It really proves that you have a minimalist wardrobe as well if you can fit all your clothes on just like one rack. Let's put this simple base game mirror right here next to the clothes. And I'm wondering if there's any room for a desk or something in here. It would have to be a really small desk, like not even a full-sized one. For a minimalist chair, I am thinking of this ghost chair. I feel like the clear acrylic look makes it minimalistic because it's like see-through and your eyes don't really get drawn to it per se. For curtains, I'm gonna go with these ones from My First Pet Stuff. I know I don't usually like to use My First Pet Stuff, but these curtains are like literally some of the best, most simple ones, so I have to. And that's gonna be it for our minimalist bedroom. I know it's extremely simple, but you know, that's the name of the game. I think that it still looks very calming and has all the necessities. I would actually have no problem living in a room like this because it's just very like calming on the mind. And I feel like you could have like a nice productive time in here. So let's move on to the next room. Moving on to the kitchen. So I think I'm just gonna put my kitchen up against the wall here. And I'm thinking dream home decorator for the kitchen as well. These counters are just so sleek and simple and straightforward. Just went in with the stove top from Dream Home Decorator and this nice sink from the Cool Kitchen Pack. And let's try this plain modern hood fan from Base Game. I feel like we need a slightly patterned backsplash in this room. So I'm thinking this herringbone towel from the Growing Together Pack. It adds just enough texture and visual interest without compromising the minimalist aesthetic. Let's grab this simple runner rug from the Fitness Stuff Pack and then do some light clutter on the countertops here. Nothing too crazy, okay? just some cooking utensils and some soap to wash your dishes and hands. And we'll finish it off with this sleek, plain white base game bin. And with that being said, we are done with our minimalist kitchen. I know it's not much, you guys, but this is minimalism at its finest. Whoever lives here doesn't want a ton of clutter on their counters. All of their appliances are stored neatly away in the cabinets. When they want to use them, they bring them out. And when they're done with them, they put them away, which honestly couldn't be me. I have all of my appliances just scattered around my small countertop, but yeah, it looks very messy, but it's very practical for me, okay? Let's move on to the dining room. Now for dining tables, my immediate thought is to go for a simple, plain, sleek, white marble dining table like this. This one's in the base game. This is one of my favorite dining tables of all time, mainly because I have a dining table very similar to this one in my own home. Honestly, these dream home decorator chairs kind of match like the general wood tone. However, I feel like the table is a little bit more luxurious and it looks a little bit funny with those chairs. There's also these chairs from Dream Home Decorator, which are a similar wood tone, but have a little bit more of a substantial back. Oh, but there's also this version of the Dream Home Decorator chair, which is like the final form, if you will. It's probably the most luxurious out of the bunch, but it does still look quite minimal. So why don't we see if that is the vibe? For overhead light, let's grab the simple one from the tiny living pack. And then I must find an art piece for the wall here. I want something big that will take up a lot of space. Maybe actually even these ones from cats and dogs. I know if you make them into a square like so, and then you change each of these to a different swatch, it actually forms like a singular painting, if you know what I mean. It kind of gives the illusion of one big large painting, but you can also use them individually, which is really cool. Let's finish this off with a small circular rug from the base game, and there you have it. Here is our minimalistic dining room. It's functional, it's small, it's neutral, it's very calming. We do have some subtle pops of color with the artwork and also like this little fruit bowl. So I think it's not like completely sterile looking, but yeah, I'd say this checks the box for the minimalist aesthetic. Let's move on to the living room. I'll be the first to admit that this living room layout is not the best, okay? I, I do take full responsibility, I'm sorry. It's, it's not my fault, it's the letter M's fault, okay? But I think we can save it if we maybe use some items from Tiny Living. <laughs> or maybe put the TV against there and then have the couch like here, kind of get around it. I don't know. 
I'm afraid the room is looking a little bland. I'm wondering if I should go all in with this light green herringbone tile everywhere instead of the white. Maybe I can tone it down by making some of the walls plain white so it's not like it's legit everywhere. I just feel like this room needed some sort of color because again, minimalism doesn't mean no color, it just means no clutter. Let's do that and then go in with this small round coffee table from the tiny living pack. I feel like I've used a ton of tiny living and dream home decorator on this side of the build. So if you are someone who likes minimalistic decor, tiny living and dream home decorator are your go-tos. Oh, we should probably add a rug, shouldn't we? I'm I'm feeling the fluffy rug, you know? This person who lives here already doesn't get a lot of clutter, but they deserve at least the fluffy rug, am I right? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now for the coffee table, maybe I'll just put this like tray of water and stuff. I don't know, it looks pretty chill and simple, I guess. <laughs> Let's put our basic coat rack here by the door as well. And there you go, here is our minimalist living room and entryway all done. It has all of the essentials, you you can watch TV, you can read, you can listen to music, you can sit, you can have at least three sims sitting here. It's great, it's super functional, but let me know what you guys think of this room. Let's move on to the bathroom. Okay, you guys, I, I don't I don't know what I was thinking for this bathroom, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm just gonna see if I can at least make this a functional space and then I don't wanna hear any complaints after that, okay? If we can make it functional, it's a win. So my first thought is sectioning off this little triangle spot and then like creating a little ledge with the platform tool, kind of like a little shower ledge, if you will, and then grabbing the shower head from Discovery University or Snowy Escape. Maybe I'll grab the Discovery University one. It's a little simpler. Putting that up against there, that's basically a shower. That's like a fully functioning shower, right? I mean, yeah. Is that gonna work? I don't even know, man. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is functional. Oh no. This is not gonna work. No, please, somebody help. Stay calm, everybody. Stay calm. I'm going nowhere. Somebody help me. Stay alive. Mm -hmm. Fly me to the moon. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> help! Somebody help! Why is nobody helping? Ugh. I don't even want to show you guys. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. First of all, I'm exhausted. Second of all, I understand that it's my fault because I gave myself this floor plan. Who decides to make a bathroom in a triangle-shaped room? I don't know, but this is the best I could come up with. So we're gonna have the shower like right here when you walk in. It's gonna be like an open concept shower situation, okay? There's a drain, don't worry. Like all the water, it won't get anywhere else. But I feel like we can kind of redeem ourselves with these ledges a bit to make it feel like it was intentional maybe? Okay, here we go. Just some soap and some products right there. And then on this side, we have a towel and a small plant from Eco Lifestyle. So that's going to be it for our minimalist, weirdly shaped bathroom. Okay, thank goodness that's done. Here is our minimalist side of the M all done. There's not a ton of clutter. It has all the essentials. I'm pretty pleased with this side of the home. It's definitely somewhere that I wouldn't mind living at all, but let's move on to the maximalist side of the M now. Okay, on to side two. Now let's start with the bedroom again. So on this side, it's the maximalism side and I'm gonna be using a ton, and I mean a ton of decor to the max on this side of the home. Basically, if possible, I'm gonna try and use every single item from the decor to the max kit. And right off the bat, let's go in with some of this wallpaper. So this wallpaper is actually just so, so pretty. I love it. I love all the colors that come with this kit in general. However, the reason why I don't use it as much is because it just doesn't fit in with my personal aesthetic, unfortunately. But here's hoping this build will give it its chance to shine. So to match the blue tigers on the wall, let's go in with this blue and white floor tiling. And oh my goodness, that is very busy looking. We didn't get a bed with the Decor to the Max kit, so I'm just gonna have to find like an extra maximalist bed myself. Maybe this one from Vintage Glamour. Now for end table, let's obviously go in with this one from Decor to the Max, but I need to find a complimentary swatch. I'm definitely vibing with this blue. I almost feel like the bed isn't really doing 
doing it for me right now. Maybe I need to find a different bed. Something slightly more low key like this one from high school years could still give that same maximalist effect without it looking like overly extravagant. Cause even with this bed, the headboard is clearly more detailed and has like this cool pattern on it. Let's grab this overhead light fixture from the decor to the max kit. It's, it's definitely something. <laughs> Let's place this ceramic cat from the Cats and Dogs pack because this person clearly likes cats, okay? And this very full bouquet of flowers on their nightstand. For curtains, I feel like these crochet ones from high school years would work well. I don't think that the person who lives here would care about like clashing patterns or anything like that. And they would probably adopt the more is more mentality. So the more patterns and textures, the better. Let's size up this fluffy rug from the Snowy Escape pack and kind of angle it underneath the bed slightly. I don't want to cover the floor pattern too much, but I do think that this person deserves some fluffy rug when they wake up in the morning. I feel like we should give them the very extra wardrobes from Get Famous. That's perfect for all of their shoes. I mean, there's no denying that they're living to the max here. Let's grab this big studded leaning mirror. This one is from Jungle Adventure. This blue swatch actually matches some of the blues on the bed. And then let's finish it off with a extravagant door. Now we have some extra space on either side of the door and you know what they say, more is more. So let's grab this lovely peacock from the decor to the max kit. Let's go with this white and blue swatch. Honestly, it blends in really nicely to the floor to the point where it doesn't look super out of place. Like it's still a little weird that you have a peacock in the middle of your bedroom, but at the same time, like it's kind of subtle, you know? It kind of feels like it belongs there. Oh, we also have this fun room divider thing that comes with the decor to the max kit, which we could kind of use to separate the wardrobe area and the sleeping area. And I'm gonna stop myself right there before I add anything more because I feel like I could go at it all day. But here is our maximalist bedroom all done. I love how different it looks to the minimalist bedroom, even though the floor plan is really similar. I also love all the different colors we use. So I'm really proud of myself with this room. Let me know what you guys think let's move on to the kitchen okay you guys kitchen time so this is gonna be maybe a little bit challenging i do want to see if i can use these pieces to kind of tone everything down a bit these come with the decor to the max kit and they're perfect for like framing the wall here should i go for something more daring like pink i don't even know pink and green maybe if I do a statement dining room here, I could go for something more neutral on these off walls. And then for this side, I don't really know. <laughs> for kitchen counters, I almost feel like going in with these pretty base game ones that have this light blue countertop. And let's maybe double down on that color scheme by adding a pink fridge. Wait, this mint swatch on the parenthood stove matches this color pretty perfectly. So why don't we lean into the pink and mint colors and then instead change the these to white. Because this is the maximalism side, let's be extra and add more counters on this side to create like a coffee bar. And of course, grab this espresso machine that takes up so much counter space and is so extra. I also found this cute neon sign that I'm gonna place right here near our coffee bar. And then I'm gonna have all our clutter and pots and pans all up here exposed because the Sim who lives here doesn't mind if everything's like out in the open. Of course, we're gonna be needing a runner rug and what's more perfect than this really busy patterned one from the base game. Most of these swatches would work, but I kind of love how this white and orange one pops. Finishing off this space with this geometric lamp from the fitness stuff pack and there you have it, you guys. Here's our maximalist kitchen all done. I feel like I incorporated a lot of colors. I also put more appliances on the counters to contrast nicely against the minimalist side. And you could definitely make the argument that objectively it is quite white and neutral, but I think once you take into account the rest of the space that we're gonna do, it will tie in really nicely. So let's move on to the dining room. Okay, you guys, what's the plan here? We definitely need a round dining table again because our dining room space hasn't gotten any bigger per se. This one has like a gold glittery tablecloth on it. I don't know. Maybe even going for a light pink like that to tie in with the wallpaper and then going for some more maximalist chairs. But it does beg the question of what exactly is a maximalist chair? Oh, these ones from high school years do feel like they would work, don't you think? Oh, they come in the mint color too. Wait, hold up, hold the phone. The color palette is 
is color paletting. Now, if we can find a pink rug, oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> Is that like way too matchy-matchy? What if I mismatch the chairs and then go for a more neutral dining table? I don't necessarily want to go for the same dining table I use on the minimalist side, but I also think that it could be cool to have an item that is the same and then show how it can be used in both aesthetics. Then we just grab the same light fixture from the Decor to the Max kit. Ooh, now we did get these geometric giraffes from the Decor to the Max max kids and there's a ton of fun colors we can even use this orange to kind of match the orange in the rug over here oh my gosh it's all coming together you guys and because more is more let's just put some random paintings on the wall here and here's our maximalist dining room all done honestly i didn't have high hopes for this dining room but it really pulled through and it's one of my favorite rooms i think okay on to the living space so i'm just gonna pull out some of the items from the decor to the max kit that we haven't used so far just to keep track of which items I haven't used yet because I'm trying to use as many of them as I can. Now, this fireplace is pretty, pretty large. I'm not gonna lie. This coffee table is way too big. It's gotta go. We can probably fit this armchair here and then maybe put this sideboard thing back here. <laughs> I don't know. It's starting to look pretty cluttered here. Honestly, this layout might actually work. It's very small and squishy, but it gives off that vibe that this house is like packed to the max, which is exactly what we're going for. I'm just going in now and changing the color swatches for these items to try and make something cohesive looking. Now, I think we should go in with this flat screen TV on the wall here. What we could also do is go in with some of the floor tiles from the Decor to the Max kit and make a floor pattern using the tiles instead of actually putting a rug. Maybe something like this yellow would look kind of cute. And if you press Control F, you actually get quarter tiles like so. So we can make kind of like an angled section over here. Let's go in with this plant from the Blooming Rooms kit. Maybe this random telephone decoration from the basement kit and maybe some of these pantry snacks why not it's kind of like a continuation from the kitchen for the top of the mantle let's just go in with some random stuff like these phone and keys and maybe like size down this chessboard and let's include another one of these peacocks for good measure let's just go with the hot pink swatch i don't even know anymore i feel like i've become kind of like immune to color in a way because i've been working on this build for so long like i've combined so many colors in this room at this point that i'm just like yeah whatever what's another color wait a second i I haven't included the epic lamp in this build. This is one of my favorite lamps ever. How have I forgotten about this lamp? Oh my gosh. Okay, say goodbye to this overhead light. I need to include this one. Here's our maximalist living room all done. Oh my gosh, there's just so many colors in this room. When you take into account the kitchen and the dining room as well, there's just so much pink and mint and blue and yellow and gold and wow it's just it's a lot i'm so happy that i made a lot of the kitchen just plain white because honestly the rest of the room is just so so colorful let's move on to our final room now okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys this bathroom isn't gonna look that different in terms of layout to the minimalist bathroom so the best i can do is add this patterned wallpaper from the decor to the max kit in this pretty blue and white color and i'll be right back when i add all of the bathroom appliances. Here's our maximalist bathroom all done. Like I said, the layout is the exact same. I just changed up some of the colors here, went with this black and gold vanity, went with a dramatic black toilet because I thought that was a little bit unexpected. I also went with the black version of the floor tiles, the same ones I used in the living room. I felt like they really worked in this bathroom surprisingly. And yeah, that's it for the bathroom. We were definitely able to make it contrast nicely against the minimalism side. Well, you guys, that's that's going to be it for our M-shaped, mirrored, maximalist, minimalist, opposite homes. I absolutely love how these turned out. I can't believe how different they look. Like the minimalist side looks so different to the maximalist side when you really compare it side by side. I can't believe how different these aesthetics are, but at the same time, I honestly love both. Like, this one looks so plain compared to what we just did. I think in the long run, I'd rather live in the minimalist side just because this would probably like 
hurt my eyes after a while. It was really fun to do two aesthetics in one build. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to do two aesthetics in a future alphabet build. It just so happens that the M shape happened to be perfectly symmetrical that I could split it down the middle and both sides of the M were big enough to make into two separate homes. But maybe in a completely different build challenge video, I'd be able to explore multiple aesthetics in one video. Let me know down below which side of the M you would rather live in, the minimalist side or the maximalist side. And also don't forget that we have our letter N coming up next week. So leave your comments down below on what theme we should do for the letter N. I'm still having so much fun with this alphabet series, you guys. I cannot believe we made it halfway through the series. Thank you guys so much for your support. I couldn't have gotten this far without you. Please don't forget to continue giving these videos a thumbs up if you want to see more. Your engagement on these videos really does help signify to me that you want me to keep going. So I'm going to keep making these episodes as long as I'm still having fun and as long as you guys are too. Thanks again to Dev Sisters and Brick City for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link in the description to sign up for pre-registration and early access. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe because it's free and we love free. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you!